To tie the Palomar knot, you'll want to double the line over and pass it through the hook eye. The problem with doubling the line over is that sometimes the hook eye is too small to pass the line through. The other problem is when you're fishing with monofilament or fluorocarbon, sometimes when you double this line over, it puts a kink in it, which will actually weaken the line. So to prevent this from happening, what I like to do is I just take the tag end, pass it through the hook eye once, I pull around 12 inches to 18 inches through, and then I take that tag end and I pass it back the way that I just came. What this does is this forms a loop in my right hand like so. And it doesn't weaken the line at all. So there's the loop, there's the tag end, there's the main line. At this point, I'm gonna tie a simple overhand knot like so. So here's what the knot should look like in your hand. I have the loop, I have the hook, which is now on that overhand knot I just tied. I have the tag end and I have the main line. From here, I'm going to want to pass the hook through this loop, like so. Okay. Once I get the hook through, I'm going to gently pull the main line and the tag end to start to tighten and pull the slack out of that overhand knot. Okay. Now I'm not, I don't want to tighten it all the way because there's something I have to do. This loop will sometimes get hung up on the hook eye. So to prevent that from happening, I'm going to take the loop and pass it above the knot, just like so. At this point, I'm going to want to moisten the knot with some saliva or some water to prevent friction from occurring, which will weaken the knot. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to continue to pull the slack out. I'm going to pull the tag end to tighten the knot all the way. And then I'm going to pull both ends to snug everything down tightly. Okay. At this point, like with all knots, I'm going to trim off the excess. And there it is, the completed Palomar knot. This is one of the toughest and strongest fishing knots you could possibly use. It retains over 90% of its strength when properly tied, and it can also be tied with all three line types, braid, fluorocarbon, and monofilament.